What is insulin resistance and why is it dangerous? Insulin resistance represents a major, underappreciated threat to our longevity and deserves more attention than it gets. To understand insulin resistance, we first need to understand insulin. Every time we eat something sugary, our body secretes insulin from the pancreas, which serves to move glucose or sugar from the bloodstream into our tissues. When we're frequently eating sugary things and asking our pancreas to secrete more and more insulin over years, our body's sensitivity to insulin goes down, and even more insulin is needed to get the job done. This is called insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is the hallmark of type 2 diabetes, but is present well before someone is diagnosed with diabetes. Though people understand that diabetes is a risk, insulin resistance on its own represents a major risk, as it's associated with a 12 times increased risk of cancer, 5 times increased risk of Alzheimer's, and up to a 6 times increased risk of cardiovascular disease. We don't have a test that is both accurate and practical for measuring insulin resistance. Accurate measurement of insulin resistance involves a constant infusion of insulin and glucose called a euglycemic clamp, which is typically reserved for research studies. We can approximate insulin resistance by measuring fasting insulin levels through performing an oral glucose tolerance test, which involves drinking a sugary drink and measuring blood sugar before and after. Or we can perform a standard HbA1c blood test, which is used to track diabetes control. To avoid insulin resistance and its health complications, be conscious of your sugar and carbohydrate intake and focus on eating slow-release macronutrients such as foods high in protein and fiber.